This couple is so cute. Uh, this is Sydney and Jackson. When Sydney reached out to me about doing their engagement sessions, she said that Jackson's grandpa had this vintage Volkswagen Beetle and they wanted to incorporate into their engagement session. So, of course, I was super excited about that. And I found this little parking garage in New Albany that I knew would work out perfect because the plan is to take pictures in the Beetle and then take some like downtown vibe pictures. So we started up on top of the parking garage and we didn't know how to drive a stick shift. So his grandpa had to drive it there for us and they were actually kind of hanging around the corner because we didn't know how to drive it. It also didn't have any heat and it was freezing cold. You can't tell, but I have neoprene pants on and I have on two pairs of socks and then I have on a tank top, a t-shirt, a hoodie, and then a jacket over top of all of that. And then also have hot hands in both of my pockets because I don't like being cold and it was really fucking cold. Which is so funny because if you look at what Sydney's wearing, she's and has like barely any clothes on and she has on open toed sandals. So I don't know how she didn't turn into a popsicle. She said it took her feet like three hours to thaw out after this session. But I had them get cozy in the front seat to start with uh, so we could really like highlight the vehicle and the vintage vibes and of course that helped keep them warm while they were sitting there because that wind was truly brutal you can see my jacket blowing around in some of these shots and it was very cold <laughs> i even have gloves on that i had to cut the fingers off of so that i could still use my camera Here I had pulled her out of the car to have her get all loungy on the hood for a couple like editorial style shots uh, that really showed off her ring and she has on the sunglasses that I told them to bring. Yeah, these turned out perfectly. You can't even tell that she's freezing cold. I'm trying to see what other angles I can shoot them at. I always make sure to try to do like a 360 for every pose because sometimes I find other angles that end up looking better that I wouldn't have thought of before. Here I climbed into the back of the beetle, which was actually really difficult. Um, I just kind of had to fall over into the back seat and then I wasn't even sure that I was going to be able to get far enough away from them to be able to get these shots, but I just kind of wanted to make it look like they were out for a Sunday drive. Tried to highlight their jewelry again here and the little bouquet of flowers she brought. I love these. These are some of my favorite pictures from the shoot. Another pose here with him standing outside of the door. Try to make him more of the focus for a few of the photos. And again, I just, I make sure that I keep moving constantly so that I can get all the good angles. 
shooting through the window to play with, framing, have them interact a little bit, little kiss. Always tell my couples to try to do as much interacting as possible. The more they interact, the more I'm going to be able to deliver in the gallery. Telling them to give me some movement. I basically do this the entire shoot. Everything I ask them to do tends to involve movement. He gave her a little spin that was cute. Pulling her in tight. I wanted him to put her jacket on her for a few. I knew that would look good. And these actually ended up being some of my favorites also. She's freezing, poor thing. Look at what I'm wearing and look at what she's wearing. I'm sweating inside those neoprene pants, but it is so fucking cold. She can't feel her toes, you can tell. How cute though, look at this. Wait until you see the photos. How adorable. Him helping her into the jacket. I'm sure that felt good. And I'm just telling him to smush her up and get all comfy cozy and melt into each other. Sway back and forth for some movement. Probably telling him to stick his nose in her ear. Trying to get the sun behind them so I can get those nice little sun flares you can see right here. Anytime somebody has hair, I'm telling them to mess with it. That always looks good. Demonstrating kind of what I want right here, just to get kind of real loungy, cool guy on the car. Look, she knows exactly what to do. She's so good. See, I just keep moving literally I, I don't think I even hold still for anything anytime you can make angles with your limbs like triangles it'll look nicer in photos These were so fun. He closed the door for her and I was like, oh my God, that was so cute. Do that again. And then I don't know how she did this, but I got her to stick her feet out the window. It looks so much warmer in these photos than it actually was. You can see in some of the pictures she has goosebumps. Right there, goosebumps. few more of them in the car, all loungy on each other, playing with framing here through the window. I'm trying to get another ring shot right here. I wanted her hand on the steering wheel for this. 
And then I wanted her to kind of like be checking herself out in the mirror. I probably said seduce that building over there. Couple wide angle shots. We had to ask her family to come push this car for us so that we can make it look like the car was being driven for a few shots. Um, but really, it was just rolling down the hill. I was so excited for this, but my motion tracker uh, started following this guy instead of me, which sucks. But here's the pictures. I chased after them for these on foot, you yeah, know, all the way down there. I wasn't actually able to get video footage of the rest of the session, but I thought you all would still want to see it. It's very cute downtown vibe. Um, so that'll be at the end. <laughs> 